Hello you guys, welcome to today's vlog. I am sitting in the car right now because I'm outside of Ikea and I'm gonna go in to look for some curtains but I have you guys sitting right here because I forgot the freaking mount for my camera for my car. I have had quite the morning and I'm trying not to let it get to me usually when i'm having a day or a morning or a moment i don't vlog because i just don't want to give off like certain energy but y'all need to know that i have moments and i have days too and this morning was one of those mornings for me where i was just very very i don't want to say it wasn't the best morning i just had a bad moment but at the same time i had a great morning so i'm like finding parts to be grateful for but i'm also trying to be like i also had you know moments where i was just like not not really feeling it but I woke up this morning, had a slice of peanut butter toast. I went down to the gym, got in a really nice workout. I don't think I told you guys I'm back on my gym-ish, but I am. I started late January and I've been going ever since. And I was saying on my stories, I'm not sure how much I want to document of that just because I always feel like I'm really going hard in the gym and then I fall off and then I go back forth back forth which is not bad I feel like a lot of us do that but um I am back in the gym and it feels really good it feels really nice to get my body moving and to just take care of my body so that's been great I really want to feel bomb as hell in the summertime so not just that just in general to be honest so it's just been really nice hitting the gym and it's felt really really good I think for the first month that I moved into this apartment, I was kind of putting it off because I didn't know what equipment was in there and like the type of people that live there. I was just very like, eh. but now that I've gone and I know where everything's at and I've taken my time to like learn where the machines are and everything, feeling really good. Then I got back and then I had a nice breakfast. I had some eggs, some avocado some turkey bacon, OJ, water, and then I made myself a coffee. Well, I took a nice steamy shower. I made myself a coffee, and that was the good part of my morning today. So um, now, I, I guess I'm trying to find like the little pockets of peace, like Nabella says. I'm trying to find the little pockets of peace in my day today. So we're at Ikea right now boom you can see it right there and i'm gonna look for some curtains for this apartment so i need to find a few shears for the living room and i need to find some for my bedroom i'm looking for very thin pretty airy curtains the other day that i was filming in my living room i realized that my lighting is very very bright and it can be a little harsh on camera so I'm looking for some curtains that I can use to diffuse the light a little bit, but also to add like a very dreamy vibe to my apartment. So we got that going on. And then I also, not here, but I, I think I might go to Home Goods because I want to find some things that add personality and more of a me factor to my apartment. Right now it's very bland, very plain, obviously because I just moved in, but I, I think I'm finally at a point where I want to start adding little things that add character to my apartment um, slowly but surely but hopefully I get the chance to do that today as well aside from this let's move on to happier more exciting things I have something that I'm going to talk about a little bit later in this vlog that is very exciting very different very nerve-wracking for me um, it's something that involves you guys and I'll get more into the details and the nitty-gritty later on but um, stay tuned for that as well later in this vlog aside from that I hope you are doing good Ooh. Ah. sometimes you just gotta stretch sometimes you gotta let out all <laughs> all the emotions everything you're feeling and just give yourself a nice full body stretch why do i look crazy orange right now there you go that looks a little bit better also my skin is breaking out right now so fun i really go through moments where my skin loves me and just yesterday i got complimented on my skin and then i woke up this morning and god said nope 
let me humble you real quick you're not about to have clear skin and don't you forget it <laughs> let's go ahead and look at what they got in this ikea see some people just don't know how to act <laughs> This is really pretty. See, so kind of something like these. A pretty successful home trip I ended up going to home goods we went to Ikea like you guys saw and I found quite a few things I'm gonna do a quick haul right now and the fact that I was able to bring it all up this is forever gonna be a flex for me <laughs> just this cart makes it so easy um, let me do all the stuff from home goods First, I ended up getting some new soap dispensers for my kitchen. Right now, the ones that I have are like round ones and they have a silver top. But I found these. These are a lot more heavy duty than the ones that I have in my kitchen. The ones in my kitchen are plastic and these are glass. And the quality of these is so much better. So I ended up picking up two of these. Honestly, I was thinking about picking up a third one because of the one in the bathroom is also like a plastic one. Uh, but I think I might want to do a different one in the bathroom. So I ended up picking up two of those. These ones were $12.99 each. And then I got this mirror. Let me face it down so you guys. There you go. I have a silver one from Ikea, but the quality of that one is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And I should have known because of the reviews. So I found this one at Home Goods. This one was $16.99. And it's a nice size. And the mirror, this part is really big. And then on this side, it has the five times close up mirror so i really like the black and i like how big this mirror is and then i got a shower curtain 16.99 so the shower curtain i have right now is black and i'm still trying to play with how the bathroom looks it's not set in stone so i'm trying to see if i like the black shower curtain or if i want to switch it for something like this this is a little more textured it's like a deep gray um so i'm gonna put it in there see if i like it if not i can just take it back but um yeah i'm just trying to see what my style is gonna, really going to be like in the bathroom so we'll see how that looks and then i got organizers for my closet because the organizers that i have right now are too tall for the top of my closet they used to fit in my other closet and they're too tall here so i'm hoping that these will fit i did not measure so i'm kind of winging it with this but it comes in a set of two these were 19.99 yeah so i ended up getting two sets so i have four total i like the colors and i feel like they're gonna fit perfectly in the space i want to say this is one of my favorite finds i ended up getting two of these i can't take the other one out but these are made in mexico and these were 34.99 i love the more rustic look that these are gonna give my place i am trying to in this place give a mix of me like who i am as a person i want you to walk into my apartment and be like this is so you but i mean i feel like i get that now because it's very simple minimalistic and clean but i want to add those character pieces that are like oh my gosh this is so you and i think this will give my home a little bit more of that spanish style feel um i'm gonna put a glass in here like a tallish glass and put a fake realistic looking candle and add these i think in my bedroom just for ambiance just for like that really moody lighting so let me show you so it's both of these here they're identical or pretty much they look very very similar some of the wooden parts are different but yeah um i think i'm gonna put one of these on each side of my bedroom i am obsessed with these and i'm so glad that i was able to find two regardless even if i would have only found one I still would have gotten it just let me put it right here so you can kind of see just imagine obviously it's not gonna stay in here although it could but with the decor that I have right now I just think it's gonna add a really nice texture and just something different to 
my apartment, especially with the candle and stuff. I just think it's gonna go really well. And I picked up some plants, some faux plants, and then a, one real one. So I got these for my bathroom. So if you watched my vlog where I did my shelves, I was saying that I wanna include some plants in there. So I got some fake plants, although I could probably put real ones in there, but I wanna hang these on my shower caddy just to add a little greenery in there. Um, so I ended up getting two of these from Ikea. And I, I still need to fluff them up so they don't look like as flat. But I thought these would be nice. I don't know if I'm going to use both or just one because they're kind of long. And I like that the greenery is dark. So it looks a little more realistic than some of the other ones that I was looking at there. And then I got this real plant. I think I'm going to put this in my kitchen. I want to do a mix of real and fake things like real flowers, fake flowers, real plants, fake plants. Um, just so I actually have some real greenery to water every day. We'll see how long that lasts. I just got this blanket, nothing fancy, just a really cozy blanket for $24.99 at Home Goods. This is a full slash queen. I want to put this as a layer beneath my duvet or my comforter, I should say, and then do my comforter on top just to add like a cozy element to my room. So got that. I did end up finding some um curtains i got two different styles i still need to order my curtain rods so i won't be able to put these up in this vlog i don't think but at ikea i ended up finding the style ritba which is this you are not going to be able to tell but these are thicker shears and they just look like they would be exactly what i'm looking for you can kind of see a close-up right there so these are not completely sheer where you can fully see through, but they're also not super, super thick to where they're blocking the light. That's kind of what I don't want. Um, and then I also found this style. These are a little thinner, I think, than the Ritva ones. These are Hil Hilja, but they're both white. They look just like plain white curtains. This one's a little more textured and it has more of that linen look and feel to it. This is just like a regular sheer curtain. The quality of this one feels a lot better, just a heads up. But I wanted to get both so I can see which one I like more and then get more of those. So I'm going to order my curtain rods after this and see what that's looking like. And then I got this rug. Not sure if I'm going to keep this, to be honest, because I don't know how it's going to look in here. Uh, but this is the name of the rug right there and this is a five by seven rug maybe i'll put it in here maybe i'll put it like in the closet or something i just was like this kind of looks like it would go a little bit so i'm gonna try it under there and see what it's what it's looking like but it just seemed like a really nice textured rug that's not too too thick and i like the color it's like a black black with a mix of like a cream on the next lap I'ma be rockin' over that bass trap I'ma be chillin' with my mother from the crew I'ma be making all them does you wanna do I'ma be up in that mail list flicks Doin' one-handed flips And I'ma be sippin' on trip Cause I'ma be shakin' my hips You gon' be lickin' your lips I'ma be takin' that fix Lickin' all fly and shit I'ma be the flyest chick I'ma be spreadin' my wings I'ma be doin' my thing I'm now looking half decent. Sorry, I'm closing my window because if not, it's gonna be loud. But I did my makeup, got myself together. I'm gonna change right now uh, so I can finally chat with you guys about uh, what I mentioned earlier in the vlog that I had something I wanted to chat with y'all about. But um, yeah, I just did my makeup and I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> so let me change and then we'll have a little chat. Also, once I finish changing right now, I want to film a clothing haul because I have all of this stuff over here that I need to haul for y'all. I was going to do a separate just dedicated haul, but I've noticed that you guys typically prefer hauls and stuff to be integrated into a vlog. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what to wear. Maybe I should just put on one of the outfits that I have. Oh, and I need to make myself a coffee because I just, first of all, I just had one of the best bagels of my life. That's, that's big to say, but 
It was so good. I just ordered it from this uh, local spot. It was fire. I was getting myself ready, eating my bagel, and I was like, whoa, I did not expect this to be this good. But I definitely had to put something in my stomach because one thing I'm not going to do is have coffee on an empty stomach because that will kill my stomach lining. <laughs> like it, my stomach absolutely hates that. So I had to eat a little something beforehand. So let's make a coffee. Oh, I'm trying this new creamer. It is so good. Let me show you. I have most of my coffee essentials, by the way, linked in my Amazon storefront, but I have cups at home. Um, sometimes I use a real cup. I mean, they're both real cups. Sometimes I'll use a glass cup and sometimes I'll use one of these. What do I want to use today, actually? I'll use a real glass today since I'm not going anywhere right now. And I have my little sleeves for my coffee. So I'm going to put it on my glass today, probably. So this is the creamer that I got. I got this from, where did I get this from? Child, I don't even remember. Was it Whole Foods that I got this from? Or was it Ralph's, Trader Joe's? I don't know, but it's this one, the Honest to Goodness Dairy Creamer in Chantilly Cream. This creamer is so, so, so good. I love me some dairy i love me some milk i love me some like give me the real deal when it comes to my coffee i i used to be all into like almond creamers those are good too um i don't have like a dairy allergy or dairy sensitivity so this is it for me it is really really good and i wasn't sure if it was going to be really sweet or not but it it is it's like night the perfect amount of sweetness and the ingredients are very simple. Where are the ingredients? Am I missing it? Skim milk, organic cane sugar, cream, vanilla extract. Nice and plain Jane. So that's what I'm using for my coffee today. And then my coffee pods, I, I'm i gonna do a shot of blonde espresso from from Starbucks. These are the pods that I use. You can get these at Target, Amazon. They both have it. Let me turn you guys. This is not anything crazy, life changing. Nothing I haven't showed y'all before. Put the pot in. Oh, you can see my new little, <laughs> my super matte black. Um, what you call it? frother and i have heard people saying that you're not supposed to pour your espresso directly into ice so i'm just putting it in this i'm gonna then do this and then i'll pour that Whole milk, 2%, whatever milk you like. I'm using 2% milk because that's what good old Starbucks uses. Ooh, why is my whole. Oh my god. The whole thing just poured. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I didn't put the cup all the way to the back. Okay, this is gonna be a two shot drink. It, do I even have another pod? Yeah, I do. I need to get more. Yeah, like half of the shot 
poured into this thing because I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, this is a latte, so lots of milk. I do about like half, a little over than half. Keep in mind, there's a lot of ice, so it's not really actually that much milk, but it's still a lot of milk regardless. Once the milk, let me lower y'all, hold on. There you go, that makes more sense. Once the milk's in there, Oh, this thing is moving. That's why it wasn't me. It like scoops up. I was like, girl, <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so once the milk's in here, then I put in my sea salt caramel sauce. And I like to put this inside because the espresso kind of like melts it into the drink. Whereas if you put it in the cup, it's like kind of just stuck on the cup. So right now when I pour the espresso shot in there. By the way, can we just talk about this? Hold on. Can we talk about the epidemic <laughs> of people saying espresso? Espresso sends me every single time. There's no X. It is espresso. Espresso. The Nespresso. It's not the Nespresso. It is espresso okay not express <laughs> please please okay somebody had to say what needed to be said now I'm gonna pour this in there and then that's a lot of coffee then I got another cup two do my vanilla cold foam and I'm using this for my cold foam and this froths up really nicely you're gonna see right now and I don't add any additional syrups or creamers you can if you like really 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 sweet coffee but this usually does it for me because this already has sugar like And I don't know if it's the frother that now makes my thing super frothy because this, I feel like the quality seems better than the other one that I had. And it was from the same brand, but this makes it like really, really frothy. All right, cool. I think that's enough frothiness. And you can pour it in. Look at how this, doesn't this look like a Starbucks caramel macchiato? Pretty upside down. And then you just pour this in there. And look how thick that is. It's not even sinking because of how frothy it is. That is an iced coffee, ladies and gentlemen. And once I drink a little bit, I'm gonna add some ice. More ice, cause with the espresso, it kind of melts the ice a bit. I don't know why, this side of my hair, my bangs specifically, never look like this side. See how they look like this and this side looks like nice and swooped back. I can never get this side to curl properly up. Y'all know any tricks or tips for that? Send them my way. Perfect. And I usually only do like one shot. But even with the two, it's good. And then adding in this extra creamer that's left. It's really good. Ooh. Bellissimo. Okay, let's chat now that I have some coffee. I can't even believe what I'm about to say. But I was presented with this amazing 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 opportunity that involves you guys so for some time i've been wanting to do a few things i've been wanting to do some sort of i don't want to say meet and greet but just some sort of way to connect with you guys more one of my main goals this year is connection like connection in person like 
meeting new people and all those things but also connecting with my audience and with you guys as well and this opportunity that i was presented with is crazy and it does exactly exactly that basically what i'm kind of working on doing is possibly doing a trip a trip a vacation a getaway not just for myself but for you guys with me and i just think this is the perfect way to be able to connect with more of you guys on a real life in person level a lot of you guys have known me and of me for years like you guys have seen me go through a lot of different things in my life and have followed along that journey and been super super supportive but i don't i see your guys's usernames like i i kind of recognize a lot of names as well but i don't actually get the chance to like know you guys and get to know you guys so with that being said um i am potentially planning <laughs> a trip a trip literally this is a vacation trip with a few of you guys and i have more details on that um but before i even plan anything before i even move forward with it i really have to see if this is something that you guys are really truly interested in of course so i want to gather some information i want to see if this is something you guys are like down for or if it seems kind of like eh, i don't know if i'm up for it um so i have a survey that i'm going to link down below for you guys uh the survey link will be there pretty much until i decide to take it off like if i get enough responses or if we're gonna move forward with it or if we're not um, but check my description box as well as my instagram story i'm gonna be putting it on my stories maybe tomorrow just sometime this upcoming week because i also want to see if anybody on instagram isn't interested in something like this but i definitely wanted to put it on my youtube channel first because i feel like this is where i have the mo the largest amount of you guys and also youtube is a lot more personal like you guys are really really able to get to know me and so i feel like this it's the it's only right for me to tell you guys first so yeah there's a survey down below it's very very simple i've actually gone through it myself just to like really make sure that the questions like align and ask the right things so it pretty much asks you know for your email your name your age uh where you're interested in going any interests that you have do you like fitness do you like fashion do you like uh anything like that it asks very specific important questions for me to be able to see if we're like kind of on the same page it asks what your budget is for travel um so all of that is going like going to be in that survey um and i have a lot more information on it as well i know um there are probably gonna be a lot of questions about this like what exactly is included in this trip um all of that and all of that is going to be covered i have so many like documents and q a type things that i am gonna go through if i get the response that's needed in order to move forward with the trip but this is going to be like a legit trip with an itinerary this is not going to be something where we're going somewhere we have no idea what's going on we're just kind of figuring it, figuring it out bouncing around no this is going to be a very thought out planned out trip there's going to be an itinerary there's also going to be a tour guide throughout the entire trip that way there are no language barriers or anything just depending on where we're going there are going to be some things included in this trip as well so i just i want to gauge first before <laughs> i'm like super excited i want to give you guys all the details right now but i first have to see who's really really interested and then once i get it down then i can go ahead and give you guys more details and even then i'm trying to think like how exactly like once i get the survey how exactly i'm gonna tell you guys like hey i got the results and we are or aren't gonna do the trip in general if you have an instagram even if you don't have an instagram just make one specifically for this like if you're really really interested because it's always easier for me to hop on instagram stories and just get everything that i need right away 
so even though i'm announcing it on here i feel like a lot of the action is going to be on my instagram stories just because that i can do in real time and it's just easier so if you're interested in this if you're interested on going on a trip with me follow me on my instagram and stay in the loop when it comes to my stories because that's where i'm going to be doing most of the updating for this and then if you do not have an instagram just please it's very easy just make one just make one for this you can delete it after whether you come on the trip or don't but if you're interested at all even the slightest bit just make it and keep up to date just in case but um yeah i i'm really excited about this i hope we're able to like move forward with it and everything falls into place but that's kind of like what's in mind i've never done anything like this the closest thing i've done to this is an in-person meetup it was very i've done two and they're both very very intimate and i love that and this is going to be that as well it's going to be a trip anywhere from like 8 to 24 people not going to be overwhelming but it's going to be enough of us to like really enjoy it so um again i'll give more details later on but if this at all interests you please let your girl know and fill out that survey that we got down below so that's the exciting news um i'm a little nervous i can't lie because i have been wanting to do solo travel for a while right and i've in my life i've only gone on one solo trip um, but I've done some travel here and there and I just always love it and I've been wanting to do a solo trip for some time um, and I'm I'm like I'm still a little nervous about it so I think that this right here if you are somebody who has been wanting to go on a solo trip or travel alone but you also want to have the experience of getting somewhere and like knowing what you're doing and meeting new people this is the perfect opportunity because we're all going to be coming if if we go through with this we're all going to be coming from different places so technically you're traveling alone you're going to get on your plane land and everything solo but then when we get there we're all going to meet each other we're all going to hang out and it's kind of the best of both worlds because you're traveling solo for the first time and we're also all meeting new people and it's a completely new experience at least for me and i'm hoping to provide that with you guys because i know i have a lot of women and i have a lot of people on here who have similar interests to me who want to travel solo who have been through similar experiences as me and i just think this is going to be such a personal way to just get to know each other and it doesn't even have to be that deep it can literally just be let's all hang out and go on a trip together and enjoy life and enjoy the little things and the big things and just romanticize life you guys know i'm all about that so this is just a really fun way to bring that in and to bring in some self-care and just all the things that i'm about let me know if you're all interested in doing that if hanging out with me going on a trip going on vacation all the things so that'll be below that's the big like news here um we'll see what comes of it but i will definitely keep you guys updated over on my instagram oh that's exciting okay um so now i am going to chill for a sec i'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then we're going to haul all of this stuff right here i'm trying to think if i want to film it like where i'm holding my camera looking in the mirror and like showing you guys or if i want to do like a stand-up maybe i'll do a stand-up haul i'm thinking of like setting up my camera here Hold on. Un segundo, por favor. <laughs> Thinking of setting up the camera there. And then standing here and being like, hey guys. Well, obviously not like this. It'll be a better setup, but you guys will be higher up. But I'm thinking of maybe like this, trying on the stuff in real time versus this like look at my i mean i could do this this might be a cute little setup too um i don't know we'll see right now that i change i also ended up getting you probably can't see a whole lot but i ended up getting my curtains up yesterday and they look so 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 good they kind of filter my lighting a lot which is exactly what i was looking for they add a little bit of privacy 
and it just makes the i need to steam them by the way but it just makes the apartment look and feel so much more homey and just dreamy it like really completed the whole look let me see if i can show you i had my little setup right there because i was doing my makeup but i just feel like the curtains did exactly what needed to be done here so now all i have to do is add the little things in here that are going to make it more me maybe a little art over there just more greenery best thing ever i showed this in my amazon haul if you missed it keeps your iced coffee at home cold or if you're out and about if you get starbucks it comes in a set of three i got the cheetah one comes in a tall grande and a venti size and i just use it even for my coffees at home and it just keeps it nice and cold okay i just put on a neutral bodysuit that i think might go with most of these pieces and i'm gonna just try to mix and match first up are these pair of jeans from zara i got these in a size four and i really like these because i don't have any jeans like this in my collection so these are just plain no rips nothing not gonna lie though i think i want to add some rips to the knees because they're they're nice but i think they do need like some some distressing here and there but what's going on these jeans were 49.90 and i just love how simple the design on these is and sometimes our jeans are kind of hard to find like some good ones but these go all the way down to the ground they kind of drag a little bit which i like because when i wear heels I don't have to worry about them being too short. I like the fit, the style. They're definitely more of a casual jean that can be dressed up in a lot of different ways or you can just wear them like mom jean style. They're still nice and long and I'm 5'7 for reference. So yeah, um, and I like that these fit me properly here because a lot of times jeans can fit really strange on the waist. So these ones I really like. And then next up, I have these from this brand called Naked. I've been really liking their stuff. I just posted a photo with one of their dresses on my Instagram. I was waiting for these cargos to come back and stop because I've had them just kind of like saved and they hadn't had them in my size and I think I was finally able to get my size. These are a size 36, but I don't know if they're gonna fit because I have never tried their their jeans so let's see if they fit something tells me they're gonna be big oh, i think they're gonna be big they are gosh i was gonna get a 34 but i wasn't sure about their sizing great these are big 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 like i can maybe see if they can be salvaged with some tailoring yeah, I'm gonna take them to the tailor, see if it makes sense for me to get them tailored or if I should just come, I think they can, or if I should just get a completely new size. But these I like because I was looking at the measurements and on me, they're still gonna be long enough, just like the other ones, to be able to rock them with some heels. Cause that's one of my struggles. I'm not even that tall. There are so many other women out there that are taller than me. So I can't imagine what it's like to try to find jeans and stuff that are long enough. So these right here are all the way to the ground and even with heels, I feel like these are gonna give the perfect amount of peekaboo to my heel. Like if I were a pointy heel, it's gonna show the heel perfectly. But I do 100% have to get these tailored, but I love these freaking pants. They have pockets. They're actually functional pockets. So you can really put stuff in there. Pockets everywhere. The fit is perfect, the wash, it's more of a gray wash, which I don't have in a cargo pant or a cargo jean. I mostly have beigey ones and I think I have black, but I don't have a gray like this, but that is what those look like. I really hope they don't look crazy once I get them tailored, but we'll see. If y'all see them in pictures, then you know I was able to get them tailored. I have my bodysuit unbuttoned so I'm about to take it off, but I want to show you what this vest looks like. Got it from Zara, was $49.90, extra small, and I 
freaking love the color it is the perfect color and i've noticed with puffers like this i have to downsize like in an extra small because if not i just look like a marshmallow because i'm tiny but <laughs> let me button this up because this looks or at least tuck it in because we need some self-respect around here all right i think that looks better let me scoot up the camera though so this vest i'm probably not gonna get the chance to wear it a whole lot because springs around the corner but this is one of those things that once it's in my closet i'm gonna have it in there for a few years the pockets they're warm like you're not gonna stick your hand in here for a cold and feel this it has that warm cloth sweater like fabric on the inside so your hands are gonna be warm which is great. I don't feel like I'm drowning in this jacket. I just think the fit is perfect. I honestly would wear it probably like this on a casual day, put my hair up in a pony, go grab me a Starbucks, go to Target. That kind of sounds like the vibe right now. Kind of sounds fun. But yeah, I would wear it just like this. Leggings, sneakers, makeup done, and go run errands. So I, love this jacket it also isn't too cropped it's not too long it hits right at the like mid thighs for me 10 out of 10. um also from oh no this is from unique low so i got a shirt like this from zara and upon wearing it i discovered that the sleeves on that one were so so tight like this part of the sleeve was tight it looked kind of like weird and so i've been looking for a top like this that it's just a regular silky white top something that i can just kind of wear a lot of different ways tops like this surprisingly are pretty pricey this one was 50 bucks i think but it's because of the material and a lot of people use these for work obviously oh no it was 40 dollars. my bad but it's just one of those quality staple everybody has to have one of these in their closet i don't care what anybody says because you can wear this in the office and you can also wear it with some denim shorts actually let me do that so you guys can see so this is giving corporate girly she's about to go call the shots right this is definitely corporate girl and the sleeves are normal like the ones from zara like tightened right here and it gave more of like that this look and i don't like that i just want regular sleeve but here it is with just leggings you can wear some pointy heels some flats make it very businessy let me throw on some denim shorts so y'all can see this is i mean i would wear it both ways honestly because i'm the type of girl that'll make herself look like she works a nine to five when she doesn't just for the look <laughs> so here it is with jean shorts i'm not gonna button all these buttons but with jean shorts i would tuck it in on one side let me grab some sunglasses or something matter of fact i'm gonna put on the ones i just showed you guys in my amazon haul and we have ourselves a saturday brunch outfit or i'm about to go to like something it's just it gives a different look obviously add jewelry and like other things but this is definitely giving i want to look polished but i don't want to think about it and i want to also look casual and not like i'm like doing too much so that's how i wear it on more of a casual day this is me I'd wear this this is like a uniform i'd wear this all the time if i could love it love it love it let me take a picture actually for a potential thumbnail you can even wear this with a lacy bra peeking through for a night out also from uniqlo are these sweaters and these ones are also very uniqlo has a lot of good stuff that you can wear a lot of different ways that's good quality and that are just kind of like staples when i've gone to uniqlo sometimes 
it's, it's definitely hit or miss but this past time that i went they had a lot of good stuff that i've kind of been looking for and haven't been able to find and they're just simple things that are like why don't brands just or companies just have simple things like this and it gave that this time so i love to have sweaters like this in my closet because i could live in these and i can also make these look very different depending on what i'm wearing so this sorry <laughs> i really need to button these up but this i would wear on a breezy spring day with shorts just like this or even some linen style shorts necklaces jewelry bracelets hair up or down and it's such a easy outfit you can throw on some sandals throw on some flats or just anything and this is just you don't even need to think about it and you can even accessorize with some glasses right here put on some necklaces and you have your coffee and you're just ready right you can also put on some leggings and some flats like these i showed these in a sponsorship that i did with coach but leggings and these right here loafers even even with the shorts you can't see but even with the shorts it gives so simple and i feel like anybody would look at you and be like oh my gosh that girl looks very clean and like she just has her life together and it took like two minutes to put this outfit together it's very clean i also got it in this gray i won't try this one on because it's literally the same and i got them in a medium because i like a more casual kind of like frumpier feel rather than it being tight so i would have even gone up to a large if i really wanted to just for like slouchier sleeves but yeah the medium fits perfect and this is more of like a slate neutral gray i am obsessed with this color and these were what were these 39.90 and they're these really nice quality knit v-neck sweaters this next top is from zara i'd seen this one online and i wanted to see if i could find it in store to try it on and i did got it in a size small and it's this top here maybe could have done it in a medium for a more slouchy feel as well i don't want it to look tight i hate when i buy tops like if this top was an extra small and it was like tight i don't like this look i need a little movement especially if it's a crop top i don't want to feel like it's like tight and it's short but this is the top here and i don't know what i would wear this with to be honest uh maybe some high-waisted jeans kind of like well i'm wearing the shorts right now but kind of something like this maybe not sure i don't love this kind of just sitting here a little awkward if i'm being honest maybe i can pin it or something but i just liked the knit i liked the sleeves seemed like a fun little top i could also wear it with these pants i haven't tried them on with this outfit but it might go these i also got from zara but really really long time ago i love this is my uniform these pants or these style pants flowy silky pants are a signature for me if you never know like how to look dressy and clean and put together but still comfortable i recommend getting pants like this because you can wear a plain white t-shirt you can wear a dressy shirt you can wear a crop top you can wear a bodysuit and pants like this automatically make you look very stylish even though they're almost like sweatpants just in a different material so i could wear them with pants like this probably in a different color maybe something darker but this might be a look i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna wear this top with but i just wanted to add it to my collection something comfy and what next let's try this dress on even though i have already taken photos in it i don't have anywhere to wear this dress to but it's going to be in my closet in the occasion that I need it. And if not, I was able to use it for content. Believe it or not, a lot of my clothes I buy to just take photos in. 
that's a part of what I do, social media and giving you guys looks. So here's the dress. Very fun, printed, but still neutral. It does have some slits on the side right here. So it shows a little skin, but not too much. Has it on both sides. The dress is pretty long. It goes down to my shins. The fit is stunning and it's warm, cozy. And then the sleeves on this are again, that like flared out sleeve. Not sure where I'm gonna wear this to, but I think this might be a nice staple to have as well in my closet for like next fall to bring it out again. But saw it and I like it. And this one is from, again, the brand Naked. And print, if you didn't know, always accentuates any little curve. <laughs> I don't know what it is about print, but it just always just like hugs and accentuates in all the right places. I have a few more things to try on. I feel like I scored on this set, this set right here. First, let me try it on. Well, you can already tell where it's from actually because of the tag, but I'll try it on and that way you guys can see. The quality of this does not feel like where I got it from. Or maybe it does because they have, they have some quality stuff. If you really, really, really look. Here it is on with tops like this. I never like to wear it all the way buttoned up i feel like that looks too formal too businessy so we need to loosen it up a little bit so here i would also pop on some really bomb jewelry i'd add more bracelets throw on my glasses put them over my head put on some sandals or something and i just look again very put together did i have to think about it no because it's already a whole entire set within itself this is from target 25 dollars 20 dollars and it feels like this was bought at like a banana republic type of express this feels a lot more expensive than it actually was the quality is insane and i'm not just saying that this really really feels like i can wash and dry it and it's not going to tear up on me love it this run don't walk <laughs> this is like so it's too good it's too 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 good to not get i'm so glad i came across this outfit and i'm gonna be wearing this on repeat so when you see me don't say a thing. I'm wearing this all spring and all summer long. It's so comfy. So, so, so comfy and stylish. I freaking am obsessed. So that's that. Another set I have. I have two more sets. This is a loungy set. Not sure how I'm feeling about the color. On camera, the color looks exactly how I want it to look. But in person, it's more of a like muted grayish pink it is not as bubbly pink as it looks on camera but i thought it was cute i just don't know if the color like washes me out i wish you can see if you go to uniqlo and see it in person you'll see what i'm talking about or if you order it it's still cute nonetheless but i'm unsure if the color is gonna wash me out or not I, you can kind of see right here now that it's not as bright. It's like a muted grayish purple pink. You can't even really tell if it's if it's purple or pink, almost like a lavender kind of vibe. That's the top. And then I got the matching sweatpants. The top was $39.90. The bottoms are $39.90, both in a small. I forgot to mention this Target set. I got the top in a medium and the shorts in an extra small because the shorts at Target sometimes look very baggy if you get your true size. So I recommend sizing down, um, which was, those were the last sizes I saw in store. So it ended up being perfect. Regardless, I was gonna get it whether it fit me or not. <laughs> but having the medium top and the extra small bottoms ended up being perfect. So here's the set. Again, a tuck in. I love a good one side tuck in and this is the pink set 
looks just like this perfect to lounge around but also if you want to spice up your loungewear and add a little bit of color which is what i'm trying to do a lot of my, my loungewear is like gray black white neutral which is my favorite but sometimes i want a nice switch up uh, only thing is like because it's this very out there pink you're gonna know when i'm outfit repeating but i'm not the type that cares i feel like that's that's what clothes is for like i'm not gonna just wear this one time so yeah very cute again girl on the go don't even have to think about it outfit but you just look really cute and girly i also got this this comes in uh not a set but it has pants so you can buy these separately or together and these sweatpants i've already wore multiple times in different ways and i scored with these because wide leg sweatpants that are long enough are also very very hard to find and these ones are from zara i got them in a size small they are wide at the bottom and then i got the sweater i wasn't gonna get the sweater because i was like i could just use the pants but then i end up always regretting not getting the matching top because there are times where i want to put something together like this and i end up not getting the top and it's like sabrina why don't you just get both so here is the sweater up close simple it's kind of boxy which i like i do wish this was a raw edge sweater we could have done without this thick band and just made it longer and like a raw edge to have a little strings hanging i think that would look more effortless in my opinion and then the sweatpants are perfect they go all the way down when I wear, I like to wear these or all of my sweatpants high waisted and I could still wear sneakers and have this be long enough, which is a huge struggle for me. Or you can wear it lower and it's still uh, perfect. I've worn these sweats with uh, body suits and sneakers and it just looks really, really cute and comfortable. These are thick. The fabric is thick. The inside is fleece these are really really good quality and i feel like i really really scored on these so that's what they look like very comfy i wish i had a lot more colors and then let me try this cute little pink top on i haven't tried this so i don't know if i like it i wish this was in a bodysuit form but when i saw it on the model it looked like you can make it look like a bodysuit if you get the right size okay, if it fits tight enough oh yeah oh yeah okay here's the top with tops like this i do feel like i have to wear my hair up because having a high neck and then my hair or that might be a look i just sometimes feel like there's a lot going on so i might wear my hair down but pushed back like oh yeah that's cute um but this is the top and you could wear just like a regular top like this right it's the top you can throw on some jeans looks cute or you can try to make it look like a bodysuit this is in a size small if i would have gotten an extra small i think it would have gave and gave and gave me more of a bodysuit look because it would be tighter but it still looks like it could be a bodysuit if you play your cards right i also got these earrings from zara i thought these were nice might wear these on my birthday i don't know what i'm gonna wear yet but i have the earrings <laughs> Ooh, this swimsuit is cute i already knew because i tried this on in store this i can even wear this to our little trip if we end up going on a trip all right here it is this is from target target swimsuits the bottoms are in a small they were 20 bucks the top is a small there was 18 bucks so the top's really cute the bottoms i would say are in the middle of like high-waisted and not to me high-waisted is like all the way up here and i mean you could pull it up if you want but that might give you a little camel toe action which we don't love but to me i feel like it, it's gonna hit like right here but these are so stinking cute it has a little knot on the side also that matches here I like the color a lot with a tan and some like bronzing oil or just a glowy shiny 
oil. Okay, just got changed up. I'm sweating from filming that haul, but I'm gonna chill for the rest of the evening. I'm about to pick up my mess. You can't even see it, but all the clothes and stuff is thrown. <laughs> That's real life. That's how it looks when you finish filming a haul. But I'm gonna put all that clothes away, finish up my coffee, and edit this this vlog for the rest of the evening. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you're interested in possibly going on a trip with me, fill out that survey and follow me on Instagram to give you guys more more details. And this is not some weird scheme. This is not something where I'm just trying to get you guys to follow me on Instagram. Y'all can unfollow me after if you want to. Uh, but if you are actually interested in going on the trip, this is like a real deal, like legit vacation together. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's vlog. All of the items are gonna be linked down below and any other details. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.